హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ అతి వెల్కమ్ టు యూ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ త్రూ కాన్సెప్ట్ లోకస్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ లెట్ ఎస్ లుక్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ సెషన్ అబౌట్ కార్టీజియన్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎ లోకస్ ఫ్రమ్ పారామెట్రిక్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ లోకస్ వాట్స్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ పారామీటర్ ఆర్ పారామెట్రిక్ ఈక్వేషన్ పారామీటర్ మీన్స్ సమ్టైమ్స్ కార్టీజియన్ మీన్స్ యూ నో దట్ వీ విల్ బీ యూజింగ్ ఓన్లీ ఎక్స్ అండ్ వై ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ వై యాక్సిస్ ఆర్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆర్డర్డ్ పేర్ ఎక్స్ కమ్ అ వై sometimes for ease of convenience and solving we take x and y in terms of another variable which we call it as parameter so x is represented in terms of that parameter y is also represented in that in type in terms of that parameter now how we can convert that parametric equation of locus again back to cartesian equation so we have some problems here which are related to trigonometry and one without referring to trigonometry so let's go ahead and try to solve them the first one x equal to a cos theta y equal to a sin theta now what is the trigonometric identity we have we have cos square theta we have cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 but what is cos theta here cos square theta is can i write down cos theta whole square plus sin theta whole square equal to 1 but cos theta is x by a and sin theta equal to y by a whole square equal to 1 this is nothing but simplifies to x square plus y square equal to a square let's go to the second one x equal to a minus b secant theta y equal to a minus b tan theta the trigonometric identity we immediately we collect with respect to secant theta and tan theta is secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 can i say secant theta whole square secant theta whole square minus tan theta whole square is equal to 1 but what is secant theta what is tan theta if we look here x equal to a minus b secant theta that means b secant theta equal to a minus x or a minus x by b we can write down a minus x by b whole square minus tan theta a minus y by b whole square equal to 1 or can I write it as x minus a whole square minus of y minus a whole square equal to b square x minus a whole square minus of y minus a whole square is b square which we can simplify and we can find out the next step but that's how we can do that let's go to the next one In the next one we have x equal to a cos cube theta y equal to a sin cube theta again cos and sin the only trigonometric identity we have is cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 but what is this cos square theta is nothing but cos theta whole square plus sin theta whole square equal to 1 what is cos theta we know that x is a cos cube theta so can i go ahead and write down here cos theta is equal to x by a whole to the power of 1 by 3 can i say that can i write down then x by a whole to the power of 1 by 3 to the power of 2 that is x by a whole to the power of 2 by 3 similarly y by a whole to the power of 2 by 3 equal to 1 or can i write it as x power 2 by 3 
plus y to the power of 2 by 3 is equal to a power 2 by 3. Let's go to the last one. In the last one, we have x equal to 80 square and y equal to 280. That's a mistake. Let me erase that small one. One minute, I'll just think about that. So let's write down x equal to 80 square, y equal to 280. Now the perimeter parameter here is t. Now how we can convert that into Cartesian equation of locus? For that what we will do? We see that y is having variable t and x is having variable t square. So if I square y square, if I square up y then I will have variables equal then I should be able to equate them. So my first step will be I will write down y square equal to 4a square t square but that is equal to 4a into a t square which is equal to 4a into x. So y square equal to 4a x is the equation of locus which is nothing but a parabola. So these are some simple problems just to understand. Suppose we have been given parametric equation of locus. Now how we can convert them back into Cartesian equation of locus.